Still having fun? Yeah. Cool. Still annoyed by the dogs? Oh, always. <laughs> All right. Okay. You want to just jump in? Let's, yeah, I mean. <laughs> what else are we going to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the show. Yeah. <laughs> so make uh, sure you're run, prepared and good. Have we run out of witty banter? Yeah. We're going to like not have any bloopers anymore. We're just... Uh... We're so professional now. We just jump right in and <laughs> do everything perfect. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> good joke, hun. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to our latest episode of Prog Song Sunday. I've got Jana with me. Hi. And this is the show where we listen to a prog song together. A first listen for Jana. We shuffle through our compiled list of prog music, and whatever pops up, that's what we listen to. Pretty simple. Yeah. And so let's, let's shuffle into the song. Shuffle. See what we got that today. Song. <laughs> oh. Some classic Genesis, Genesis came up. The musical box. That's hey, that's one. the name of their show. Yeah, the well, yeah. It's not them. It's a like a cover band, oh. you know, the, a tribute band. I guess is a better way to put that's it. That's what they named themselves after. Yeah, or they, is this? they named themselves after the song. This is one of Genesis's big, like notable prog songs. The musical box. Nursery crime. Nursery crime is the album. Crime is spelled wrong. <laughs> Thanks for the input. I just can't. Honestly, you can do whatever you want in art. Yeah. And art is art. Art is art. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. So yeah, musical box. This is from like one of their early albums. Oh. This how early? Album came out in 1971. That's so, really early. Really, it's their third album. Um. They came out, but... This is Peter Gabriel? Peter Gabriel. Yes. Okay. Very much so. We listened to him this morning. Yeah, he just came out with a new solo album, Peter Gabriel. His first in, like, 20 years, so... <gasps> really? Yeah. He's been, like... What's he been doing Showcasing all it all through the year. Like, every month he released a single from it, mm-hmm. so... Like, throughout the whole year, you got to hear the album, like, song by song. So it's kind of cool how he did that. But yeah, just, he takes a while in between a lot of his solo records, it seems. All right. So. Well, he can do what he wants. Yeah. Art is art. Art is art. That's the theme of today's episode. <laughs> art is art. All right, so you okay. ready for some musical box? Some early yes. prog music here? The song is called The Musical Box. Yes. The album is Nursery Crime. That's correct. And it's Genesis 1971. Yes. With Peter Gabriel et al. Yes. Okay. Good job, hon. Good summary. Summarized it. I All listen. Right. <laughs> Here we go. The musical <laughs> box. Okay. Ten minutes. <laughs> Just a little bit Just a little 
little bit more time Time left to live out my life
time Brush back your hair And let me get to know your face Yeah, you yeah, like that I really last part? liked the way it sounded. Not yeah. like the last, like, bump, bump, before that. Before so, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it just really started to, like, build up into something really, like, cool sounding. Uh-huh. I don't know. Um, I thought that that one was very, it had very interesting production. Okay. Interesting. How so? And I say, <laughs> <laughs> and I say that because there were so many times where... He was like whispering right in your ear, and it was so clear. Right. Like his whispers mm-hmm. was so clear, and it sounded separate. F- se- I said that word separate. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded separate from yeah. the music. Interesting. And like the music was like added later. I don't know. Like, yeah. And it wasn't just like when he was whispering. There was other times when he came in. His voice came in, and he sounded like, even though he was singing, it sounded conversational. Like, mm-hmm. it sounded like there was distance between the voice and the music. Okay. I don't know if I'm explaining that very no, well. No, I think I like, understand. Yeah. Like, and so it was just, I thought that was just really, like, an interesting way that they, that they... Like, mixed it. Yeah, or, mixed it, yeah. recorded it. You know, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how they recorded it, if that's, like, what they, like... If they, if that was like intentional or if it was like, I don't know, it was just really neat. A very like, yeah, had me, had me from the very beginning because I was like listening to this. I'm like, oh, this is different. It's not like, it's not like over laid to like, yeah, it's not like, it's not like all mixed together. Yeah. You know, it's more separated. It just sounded like, like someone, like they had a track. And someone in someone went in with a really like depth depth microphone with depth. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what I don't know anything about microphones except that you hold them and <laughs> I don't know. Talking to them. But like like a really good microphone mm-hmm. that just picked up a lot of depth. Yeah. 
don't that was just what like stood out to me yeah and and the music was of course was great too they're amazing and everything i thought it was interesting there wasn't really any drums in it for like the first like couple minutes right like i was like what is phil collins doing because he's the drummer and he needs something to do but then you realize there's like little like crescendos and stuff so there's thing i'm sure there was plenty of things that he was doing oh yeah like you know i don't know it was just it's cool. It's like <laughs> kind of this cool little track, and I like it. Nice little track. It was ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, some of the things kind of piggybacking off of what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I a lot of what makes this track to me is Peter Gabriel's vocal performance. So yeah. that makes sense to me. Yeah, that, it was. He was so you know, good. Very like theatrical almost in his mm. flair, and like it's like he's playing this play almost. You know, he's like really bringing the story to life as this like really great storyteller as he talks about these kind of, you know, whimsical type stories or like nursery stories and Mm -hmm. stuff. I I just think it's really interesting how he emotes that and how he puts like, you could hear his voice going soft and then loud and like, there's a lot of dynamics, I guess, to his voice. Yeah. There was, there was a moment where he like whispers and I was like (laughs) leaning in and then it went big music. And I'm like, I mean, not in my reaction, but like yeah. in my head, I was like, whoa, cool. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a cool piece to the puzzle of what they are all about. How they have this really eccentric front man who really brings the lyrics and the stories to life. And they play around with that a lot. And I like how they kind of start more in that, like, you like you said, there weren't many drums in the beginning. It's more focused on this kind of beautiful uh, landscape of music, this more pastoral type feel, and those lighter guitars, and you know, letting his story kind of build up from there, and then it gets heavier in certain mm-hmm. sections. There's definitely energy and rocking moments where the drums really get to you know come about and bring a lot of force and energy yeah. to the parts of the song that need it. So. It's just, it's a journey of a track. That's why I like progressive rock, because it takes you on a journey. It's not just a short three-minute song that has, you know, a typical structure. It goes through so many movements and different parts to it, and it just ends on an epic note. I think it's really cool. And an early great example of, like, a classic, perfect prog song, I think. (laughs) You said he was kind of a showman, showman, you know? Yeah. And I... I think that I don't know what he looks like. Yeah. I think that I'm imagining that he looks like Peter Gallagher. Oh, interesting. Because their names are similar, and so probably because that's, like, what I think he looks like in my head. (laughs) But I don't know what he actually looks like. Yeah. Well, if you saw early performances of Genesis, like... Uh-huh. With Peter Gabriel, he's always dressing up in like odd costumes, oh, yeah. and he's like very eccentric and like dress up, sli- dress up like an old man, yeah. or like he has a big flower on his head, or I'm in. like you know. And that's <laughs> like what's it. cool about the musical box, the that we mentioned, the tribute group that mm-hmm. they recreate they that? it, and yeah, they Ooh. do all the costumes and like do the like what Peter Gabriel would have done during his performances because he's a very like outgoing kind of strange guy (laughs) that does a lot of interesting movements and things you know and that you know that was more in the early genesis era if you saw him like in his solo career he didn't really do a lot of that he was more you know straightforward Mm -hmm. i think but yeah in those early genesis days he was a pretty big character with a lot of interesting Hmm. like ways to perform (laughs) you know Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. So, there you go. That was the musical box. I think one of the big prog songs that we hadn't covered yet. So, cool to see it pop up right now. So, yay. Yeah. Big check mark. Big off the check list. mark. All right. So, let us know in the comments how you guys feel about this song. And if you have more background or history about it, it would be cool to know. And, yeah. Just let us know about Genesis in general and your thoughts. And subscribe if you haven't yet. We always appreciate it. And hopefully you stick around and catch us in future episodes. So thank you, everybody, and enjoy the music. Bye. Bye.